today, my dad, despite being a lifelong Democrat, a yellow dog Democrat, if you will, got some campaign mail from Donald Trump's re-election campaign. Now, this isn't the first time he has done this. He referring to the Trump campaign. Back in 2016, when, I believe this was in the fall, it had to have been in the fall actually, he sent my mom his I Will Make America Great Again campaign letter, which I do not have possession of as I ended up giving it to a teacher of mine. But, but, I want to read through this with y'all as a learning experience to see exactly what the fuck Donald Trump is sending potential supporters. Which, I'm sure that list is deeply flawed because, again, they sent this to my lifelong Democrat father. And four years ago, they sent, uh... Another campaign letter to my also lifelong liberal mother. I, again, I haven't read this. I only like skimmed through it to make sure all the dresses were hidden. So, we have a little brochure here. You can get a Keep America Great hat with a contribution of $45 or more, which is the minimum amount they let you donate without putting up other. And they put Keep America Great hat, or at least Keep America Great, in bold as a reminder. And then this is also some legal bullshit. And also, to have a direct impact, you may also contribute to the Trump Make America Great Again committee at donate.donaldjtrump.com slash keepamericagreathat. So, we have that. We have the little envelope you're supposed to send it in. Trump Make America Great Again committee, P.O. Box 1776. That has to be intentional. Merrifield, Virginia, 2216-1776. This is the meat of the letter. Dear Mr. Gay. <laughs> they actually used our surname, our family name for this. Holy fuck, they're getting intelligent. <laughs> I am outraged, in underlines, by the actions of the Democrats and their refusal to put aside partisanship to work with me to get our country moving again after the coronavirus pandemic. Which isn't true, you're being a baby about it. all these restrictions to the point where you had a rally in Tulsa without requiring masks. And I believe if my wine brain is correct, that you made the people that attended that rally sign a waiver promising not to sue in case they tested positive. That's why I am writing to ask you to support my 2020 re-election, also underlined, campaign with a contribution of $45. I'm assuming it's $45 because 45th president of the United States. He has a big galaxy brain, you see? You need a very high IQ to understand the symbolism! And to underline, let everyone know, and underline, you back my re-election as the 45th president of the United States by proudly wearing our new Keep America Great hat. Keep America Great also boldened. Please immediately send your re-election effort contribution of $45, $100, $250, $500, 
$1,000, or even $2,800 today in the envelope provided to show your support. And Mr. Gay, if you do respond with a contribution of $45 or more, we will send you an official, in caps, Keep America Great and Bold hat. I want you wearing this hat, underlined, all around Houston. <laughs> no, okay. I've been outside more times than I have lately. Normally I would go out more, but because of the pandemic we're in, I am limiting my time in public so I don't get a higher risk of contamination. I have yet to see a single Houstonian and I've been as far as like close to Sugarland where I keep America great hat. The closest was when I was in line for the checkout at HEB and I saw a guy wear a Trump 2020 face mask to own the libs or some shit. And I was too apathetic at that point to take a photo or complain or whatever because dude was following like basic health code. Like, what am I supposed to do? yell at him that he can't wear his mask. I'm pretty sure that's what those fuckers want. I want you wearing this hat all around Houston to send a clear message that my amazing grassroots supporters are organized and ready to vote in 2020. My dad voted for Hillary in 2016, you idiot. He barely slept the night of the election. Because by then, we kind of knew Trump won, and we were all fucking depressed. Hell, I was so confident Hillary would win that I baked a cake, like, election day. And when he lost, I ended up just bringing the cake anyway and just giving sympathy slices to my friends. And not just my friends, other classmates too. I think my Japanese teacher took a slice even though she couldn't vote because she's not a citizen. I love that many, many of my loyal and active supporters purchased and proudly wear, that's a grammatical error, you were supposed to say purchase and proudly wear, but that's a bit nitpicky given all the other crimes against humanity you've done, Mr. Trump. The iconic Make America Great Again hats. But for our 2020 campaign, we've issued this new Keep America Great hat because you guys, you guys, stop wearing the mega hats. People are seeing that they're racist. Wear the Keep America Great hats instead. We like spent a lot of money to make the hats. We don't want it to be a financial loss, guys. We've issued this new Keep America Great hat to signal that we are now fighting to protect and expand on the historic successes of my first term as president. Or lack thereof. Every Keep America Great hat worn by a patriotic American like you in Houston sends the message that my Trump coalition, the greatest grassroots political movement this country has ever seen, is, underlined, united and focused on victory, and underlined, in 2020. So please respond as soon as possible with a generous contribution of $45 or more, because I'm the 45th president of the United States and also an absolute narcissist who needs money for his political campaign for validation. Sincerely, Donald Trump, and the signature is printed on, not actually signed, because the ink quality is consistent with the paper. Sincerely, Donald J. Trump, President of the United States of America. P.S. Mr. Gay, the Democrats in the fake news, 
The fake news my dad reads. Because he, he gets most of his news from Yahoo News, and Yahoo outsources its news to the fake news, from what I've seen. Sneered at patriotic men and women like you who supported me and embraced my America First agenda in 2016. Again, my dad voted for Hillary in the election. My dad voted for Hillary. My mom voted for Hillary. If Derek and I were old enough to vote in 2016, we also would have voted for Hillary. Ah, they're just getting desperate, aren't they? But the cynic in me still thinks he will probably win re-election, even though this fucking pandemic is ruining him. <laughs> Don't, do not inject bleach to try and cure the coronavirus. That's going to kill you. But we won, and I have been winning for the American people ever since. Have you? I need an overwhelming Republican victory in 2020 to shut down the liberal witch hunts and get back to putting the American people's interests first. I remember after the 2016 election, it was a Republican, every major asset of the US government was Republican, but even then, your Muslim ban was blocked by a federal judge. A lot of other things you tried were blocked by federal judges or were decimated by the petty infighting by the spineless invertebrates in your political party. Hmm? So please, send a contribution of $45. Jesus, that's like the 10th mention of money in this dumbass letter. Or more today to join our effort and get to get your own Keep America Great hat. Thank you again. You chopped down a tree for this? <laughs>